Well, today I want to talk about idiomatic expressions. That's right, idioms. In the English language, we use idioms and idiomatic expressions a lot. And for those of you that don't know what an idiom is, idiom is basically a word or group of words that does not have a literal meaning. But we use idioms all the time in English. And a lot of people will say, hey, teacher Will, how many idioms are there in the Eng English language? When do I use idioms? Is it appropriate? In what situation? Well, that's a really good question. Well, to date, there are over 25 thousand idioms in English. And one of the things that I recommend that you do is, is that you use idioms that are relative to your life, whether personally or professionally. And in this video, what I want to talk about is I want to talk about idioms or give you some idiomatic expressions that begin with the letter A. Now, there are many different idioms that begin with the letter A, but in this video, I just want to give you five of my favorite idioms that begin with the letter A. So, are you ready? Get a pen, get a paper, and write these idioms down. And remember, the way to learn idioms and to remember idioms is anything else in life in English. You gotta use the idiom. So use the idioms as much as possible in your daily life to remember them. All right? So, Idiom number one, this is a chip, and this is my shoulder, and I got a chip on my shoulder. Idiomatic expression number one, chip on my shoulder. The meaning of that idiomatic expression, it basically means that you're upset with a person or a situation from the past. So chip on your shoulder. Shall I use it in a sentence? Teacher Will, why do you have a chip on your shoulder for a situation that happened five years ago? Let it go. So, idiom number one, chip on your shoulder. Idiom number two, Think of wood. Let's say you're outside, you have a farm, and you need to chop some wood. What do you chop wood with? Well, it's an axe. And the idiom expression number two is an axe to grind. That idiom means, listen, you have a problem, you have a dispute with someone, so you have an ax to grind. So for example, you know what? You and your coworker have not been getting along because you believe that your coworker lied. So you know what? You have an ax to grind with your coworker. Idiom number three. What is the opposite of subtract? Add. Add fuel to the fire. That idiom means is that you have a bad situation and you make the situation worse. For example, well listen, you know that teacher will get upset. Not upset, he gets maybe a little annoyed or agitated. When somebody asks me about accent, and then what do you do? You know that I believe that fluency is more important than accent, but then somebody gets on a call or asks me a question, teacher Will, is accent important or how do I sound like a native? I want native accent. And then when you say that, I just say, why is this person adding fuel? to the fire. Idiom number four. This is a picture. The idiom, a picture paints a thousand words. The idiom means is that something that you can see or visualize is more descriptive than what a person might say. 
So, you know, that's why when teaching English, we use pictures or videos because it can express a lot more than if I say something. So, a picture paints a thousand words. I love this picture. Idiom number five, one of my favorite idioms. Actions speak louder than words. What does that idiot mean? Doing something is more important than talking about it. Doing something, having actions, is more important than talking about it. Can I give you an example? Oh, teacher Will, I want to learn idioms. I want to be more fluent. And then I'm like, good job. And then I say, have you done anything? And you're like, no, 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 no. I'm going to use the idiom, actions speak louder than words. It's now, a synonym for that idiom is one of my favorite all time idioms. Walk the walk and talk the talk. So remember, actions speak louder than words. It's basically an idiom that means that your actions and your words should be the same. So those are just some of my favorite idioms, five of them that begin with the letter A. And if you know of idioms or have some of your favorite idioms that begin with the letter A, let me know in the comment section. Because hopefully this is a place where you and I, we learn together. And remember, when you want to remember idioms, you have to use those idioms as much as possible so that you can remember them. So remember those five idioms. Let me review it for you one more time. A chip on your shoulder, an ax to grind, add fuel to the fire. By the way, if you want additional information on that, check out the video that I linked in the comment section below because I did that before. Picture paints a thousand words and actions speak louder than words. So, make it a great day. Click on that subscribe button, share this video, let somebody know about ask underscore teacher will. Because remember, not only do you and I, hopefully we learn together, 2020, motivation, inspiration, through what? English! See ya.